Hi, it's Rita Smith here from Online Video and Marketing Services. I produce websites, web video, photography and social media marketing services to help your business get seen and heard by a wider audience. Welcome to another episode of Marketing on a Budget. This week we're going to talk about how to create a WordPress website. Part 1 is how to set up your WordPress website. If you have a Facebook business page, you may feel that you don't need a website, but having your own website is better because 1. You've got professional layouts to choose from that suit your business needs, and so the website looks more professional. And also, you've got static pages for permanent information, whereas on Facebook, your posts get lost over time because they move further down your timeline. Besides, with WordPress.com you get a free website, so why not take advantage of this? Or you can pay $18 and have the words .wordpress.com taken out of your domain name so it looks even more professional. WordPress gives you two options. The WordPress.com website offers you a hosted website plan, whereas WordPress.org is self-hosted. This means you have to buy your own domain name and pay for hosting. For this demonstration, we're going to look at WordPress.com websites. To set up your WordPress website, go to your browser and search for WordPress.com. When you're at the site, click on Get Started. Enter your email address, a username, a password and a blog address. Decide whether you wish to pay to remove .wordpress.com from your domain name. To decline, select the no thanks option. You now have the option to upgrade your account to the WordPress.com premium or business package. Unless you feel that you need the extra services, ignore the upgrade, check you're happy with the terms of service and then click on create blog. This is how it looks. You'll see the beginner package has got three gigabytes of space. Once you've clicked on Create Blog, you get to Step 1. So first of all, amend your blog name. You may need to separate the words and add capital letters. Then enter a tagline. This is optional. Then select your language. And finally, enter your posting goal, whether it's once a week, once a month or no goal. Then click on Next Step. For Step 2, you need to choose a theme, but you can change this later. So for this demonstration, I've chosen 2012. Then click on Next Step. For Step 3, you customise your theme. I suggest you leave this until later when you've had more time to look at the themes and to be sure you've chosen the right one. Then click Next Step. For Step 4 you can share on Twitter or Facebook if desired or you can leave it and just click on Next Step. Sharing on Facebook or Twitter means that if you publish your post, it will automatically be shared on Facebook or Twitter. If you decide to click on Connect with Twitter, you'll get this window. So fill in your details. If you click on Connect with Facebook, you'll get this window. Again, you need to fill in your details. 
You've now reached step five, which is create your first post. But we'll leave this for now and click on next step. We can always create a post later. Now WordPress will ask you to confirm your email address. Go to your email account, find the email from WordPress and click on confirm email address. This will take you back to your WordPress website. You can now set up your website, create a new page or post or sign out. To sign out, go to the icon at the top right and choose Sign Out from the drop-down menu. Congratulations, you've now set up your WordPress website. Now I suggest you go to WordPress.com and look at the various themes and decide which one would suit your website best. If you'd like a WordPress website, but don't want to do it completely on your own, I do run courses from time to time. Please contact me via my website and I'll let you know when the next course is going to take place. That's all for this week. Join me again next week for another episode of Marketing on a Budget. And please subscribe to this channel and enter some comments below. Thanks for listening.